So we're going to set this layer to overlay here, the main copy. And we're going to select this, set this to overlay by clicking that in the drop down menu. And we're going to go to filter, we're going to go to blur, and then surface blur. And again, this depends on the actual size of your document, but what this does is it's really good for trimming up skin. And uh, it's very nice, very nice effect. You can see it pretty much does it really well. And just give that a second to load. It is a rather large image. And there's that. Now you have a relatively smooth face. To get your selection gone, we hit Control D to deselect. And I'm just going to select my brush tool because I always like to have that selected in order to, you know, move objects around. But uh, such is life. Another effect we're going to do is just hit Control U to bring up the saturation. You know, maybe we can bring down the saturation on this guy and bring down the saturation on the layer below that. Completely black and white. Cool effect we got going here, don't you think? Pretty cool. And you can hit Control L. That's Control plus L on your keyboard to bring up the levels. And here's the darkest of the darks, the mid-ranges slider, and the lights. And you know, you can experiment with this. It's another form of contrast in Photoshop. So really have some fun with this. You can create lots of cool effects, spooky effects. You know, maybe bring it up at a glow. Bring up the whites to do that. And um, you can really do whatever effects that you want. In this case, I'm just going to bring that down, bring down the darks a bit, bring up the lights just a little bit, and there you have it. We used the Paths tool, we have our selections, control click, control click, and um, it's actually very useful, very useful within Photoshop. We used our Pen tool, showed you that, how to remove things, how to feather selections, which is very good for... Um, smoothing out skin on subjects and I showed you the clone stamp tool so you know getting you know killing two birds with one stone excellent guys my name is Graham and this has been another tutorial with tutorial clarity take it easy